How are you enjoying the Asian Awards tonight? I'm really, really enjoying them. It's such a lovely um, occasion to dress up in a nice frock. And, uh, and um, I've run into a couple of old friends of mine here as well, so that's really nice. And the table that we're sat on, I've n not met some of the people there, so it's lovely to network and get to know what everybody's up to, you know what I mean, and make new friends. So. A lot of people have ha actually said that tonight, but it's a really great, great place to network and see what the community are doing. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I think it's important to champion each other. There's so much going on at the minute. It's so easy to miss out on what other people are doing. Absolutely. And then you talk to people and you're like, oh my gosh, I did hear about that. And it, it sparks up memories and, and things that you haven't seen yet and conversations that are really important to really pushing forwards exciting Asian narratives. So, yeah. And talking of exciting Asian narratives, you know, you've got an amazing narrative with your life and your journey in acting. And of course, The Bodyguard is phenomenal. It's blown up completely. How's it been like being part of that? Yeah, I mean... It Look, sometimes you get a script and you're like, this is amazing, people are going to love it, I can't believe I'm part of this, I can't wait for people to see it, and then it doesn't really land. And then sometimes you're in something where you're like, this feels like it could be exciting, and then it absolutely does, and I feel so lucky that that happened with Bodyguard, and so fortunate to have such an interesting part to play. Um, one that I've learned a lot from as well, in terms of like being a British Asian, but also about the different religions that like form the Asian culture and uh, how I can sort of help shape certain narratives and what power I have and also what questions I should be asking. Um, it's been a real experience. Yeah, one that I definitely cherish and celebrate and I'm so proud of. So, and yeah. so you should be. And I think you really touched on there that acting isn't all the glamour and as easy as it looks because obviously, you know, you never know when the next big thing's going to happen. How do you kind of survive and thrive off of that, knowing that thought? As in, how do you prepare yourself for... Yeah, how do you kind of keep going and keep looking at scripts and just, you know, it's, because within the Asian community, sometimes, you know, with the older generation, sometimes think that acting isn't a, a kind of solid job where you know you're always going to have something coming in. Yeah. How have you found that, um, overcome that challenge? Oh, gosh, it's, do you know what? It's a real tricky one because they say, they say a successful actor is somebody that works a third of the year, which is not a lot if yeah, you think no, about it. Yeah. And that's not even counting all the countless auditions that you do and the hours that you put in for parts that you don't even get. <laughs> you get massively attached to and then just have to chuck the script in the bin and forget about that connection that you've made. But um, I guess in the time that I'm not working, it's about utilising skills and knowledge and trying to work out if there's other ways of sharing that. So I'm trying to, trying to be a writer. I'm quite new to it all, but only because there's so many incredible Asian stories that I feel like in my lifetime I want to make sure get told. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's only a certain amount that make it through to like TV and film and, and stage. So, and there's so much more that we know about. Is there and anything that you've published that anyone could no, read? No, nothing no, yet. No, nothing, no, yet. No, nothing yet. Yeah, I did. Um, I did something called the Royal Court Writers Programme, which I was so thrilled to be a part of yeah. a few years ago. So, um, but no, nothing yet. And I, I hope, I hope to be able to at least be part of those stories being told in some way. Definitely. Amazing. Well, you're part of the story tonight. I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest oh, of the awards you. and have a fab evening. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. Thank you.